So in this video, we're going to be multiplying matrices by a scalar. A scalar is simply a number that scales our matrix up or scales our matrix down. Very, very straightforward. So I've got two matrices here, uh, and I'm going to find 2 times A. So that is simply 2 times the matrix. And that's 2 times every element in the matrix. Essentially, I'm just doubling the matrix. So it's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4, 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, 2 times 4, which is 8, and 2 times 1, which is 2. 2a is 4, negative 6, 8, 2. All right. Uh, negative 3b is just negative 3 times that b matrix. All right. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. And that is negative 3b. Uh, finally, our order of operations applies all throughout this. So if it's 2 times b minus a, that's going to be 2 times. And then we need to know what b minus a is. So b minus a is going to be um, b minus a. So 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus minus 3. So 3 minus minus 3 is 3 plus 3, which is 6. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. And negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So now you have 2 times that, which is uh, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. And 2 times negative 3 is negative Six. All right, so I'm multiplying by a scalar. Now, from a previous example, we were talking about solar power, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria. Multiplying by a scalar is just saying, if we increased energy production in those places, if we doubled it, if we tripled it, if we increased it by 10%, multiply it by 1.1, multiply it by 2, multiply it by 3. That's what we're doing here, multiplying by a scalar.